John Earle, Australian politician. Early life. Earle was born on 15 November 1865 in Bridgewater, Tasmania, the son of and Teresa Nee McShane and Charles Staples Earle. His mother and father were of Irish and Cornish descent, respectively. Earl grew up on his father's farm and attended the local state school. At the age of 14, he was apprenticed as a blacksmith at a foundry in Hobart. He attended engineering and science classes at the Hobart Technical School and also attended lectures at the Hobart Mechanics Institute, as a result of which he developed an interest in politics. He was a member of the Hobart Debating Club and became acquainted with the colony's Attorney General Andrew Inglis Clark. After completing his apprenticeship, Earl worked on the mines at Mathena, Seahan and Karna. In 1893, he was a miners' representative at a government conference in Hobart. He returned to Zihan in 1898 and became prominent in the local community, serving on the Zihan Municipal Council, on the local hospital board, and as president of the Gormanston branch of the Amalgamated Miners' Association. He was one of 28 men blacklisted by the manager of the Mount Lyell Mining and Railway Company for being disloyal and treacherous. In 1901, Earl chaired the conference which established the Workers' Political League WPL, the predecessor of the modern Australian Labour Party Tasmanian branch. He was elected as the organization's inaugural president in 1903. Political Career State Politics Earl was defeated by three votes in the Tasmanian House of Assembly seat of Warraha at the 1903 state election. He reprised his candidacy in 1906 and was successful, subsequently being elected as leader of the parliamentary party. Following electoral reform, Earl was elected to the multi-member seat of Franklin at the 1909 election. He served leader of the opposition until 20 October 1909, when he formed a minority government of one week. He was the first premier of Tasmania from the ALP. In 1914, Earl and the ALP formed another minority government after the defeat of Albert Solomon's government on a confidence motion. In addition to the premiership, he also appointed himself attorney general. In the House of Assembly, the government relied on the vote of independent MP Joshua Whitsitt, and in the unreformed legislative council it had few supporters. Its accomplishments, including the extension of public secondary education, the nationalization of the Watamana hydroelectricity scheme, and the establishment of the state's first national parks, Mount Field and Freysenet. Earl authorized large quantities of wheat to be imported in 1914 to alleviate a drought and made large investments in public works to alleviate or caused unemployment. During the early years of World War I, he encouraged the unemployed to enlist in the military. After the ALP was defeated at the 1916 election, Earl returned to his prior position as leader of the opposition. He viewed the aim of the ALP as true progressive liberalism rather than socialism, and some of his policy positions had alienated more radical members of the party, notably his support for overseas conscription. In November 1916, during the nationwide party split over conscription, he announced his resignation from the ALP in an open letter, stating that the movement has been corrupted by bodies of extremists, irresponsible and in some cases distinctly disloyal men, aided and abetted by the weakness, cowardice, and treachery of the officers of the organization. His resignation was widely regarded as preempted his expulsion. Federal Politics in March 1917, Earl, who had by then joined the Nationalist Party of Australia, was elected by the Parliament of Tasmania to fill a vacancy in the Australian Senate. He retained his seat in the 1917 election. He became Vice President of the Executive Council in the Hughes Ministry from December 1921 to February 1923. He was defeated at the Senate election held in December 1922 and again in 1925 as a nationalist candidate. In 1928, he stood as an independent candidate in Franklin, but was unsuccessful. Death Earl died at Kettering, Tasmania, on 6 February 1932. He left a widow, but no children.
His cousin Alicia Oshi Peterson would later follow Earl into politics as a prominent suffragist. Legacy In 2009, Labour Prime Minister Kevin Rudd briefly noted the centenary of Earl forming Tasmania's first Labour government. Equals equals references equals equals equals.